on the justice court. The plaintiff, Olasumbo Shogumi, is suing her baby daddy, Oyesoya Daniel, for the access to their son. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaulu presided. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Olasumbo Shogumi versus Oyesoya Daniel. Thank you, Aki. You're welcome. Last symbol. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you brought uh, who you saw here, Daniel. Yes, Your Honor. What's the problem? And um, you have refused access to my child. I'm unable to see my child. Yes. They deny access of my child. Say my child. Uh, you have children together or you're married? The child, no. Yeah, you have a child together? Yeah. How old is the child? Eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Yes, I know. So, what, under what circumstances were the, was the child taken away from you? I met him in 2013. Okay. So, I was pregnant with my child in 2014. So, I didn't know I have, I'm pregnant with, with a child. It, it was the one that disveged me. The first sex that we had. It is a pregnancy. So I didn't know I was pregnant. So we, we departed when the issue happened. So we departed. So actually, he came back, but because of some things, so I have to let him go. Unfortunately, I was pregnant without knowing that I was pregnant. So five months, the pregnancy was, I didn't even, I don't even have any symptoms of pregnancy or something. I may be spitting or something like that. I don't even have any symptoms at all. It was just my uh, stomach pain. I usually have stomach pain. So they took me to a nurse that, what, what causes the stomach pain? So the, stomach, the nurse said, maybe I'm pregnant or I have, um, I forgot, I have something. Sure. So we, I went for a test. Unfortunately, I was pregnant. When I called him that I was pregnant, that, so he refused to come. So when this, uh, the pregnancy was now six months, I actually realized that I was pregnant five months, two weeks. So that when the pregnant was six months, so we called him, he did not call. So I went to his mom and explained things to, him, to her that this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. So she said she's going to confirm from him and the sister. Okay, and I waited for their call. So the letter called me back, though he denied the pregnancy then. So that when the pregnancy was seven months, they took me to his father. So his father said, I cannot be pregnant for five months without knowing. I said, I don't know. Since it was just once that we have something together that leads to pregnancy, that I'm not used to these things, something like that. So they said they can't accept the pregnancy until the child is born. That they used to do some things to know that the child is their own or is not their own. So said, okay, accepted. So the parents support me. The mother support me, sister to support me. But it's only the one that said he's not the owner of the child. So when I gave back to the child, so the father came to the hospital, checked the child, do everything. They said, the child is their own. Okay, no problem. So I was staying. <coughs> that, uh, his father has a church. So I was staying in the church. Then I was still pursuing my education then. So during that pregnancy, I did my GCE then. So I gave birth on uh, February 4, 2015. Maybe a week after that I gave birth, I went for my jump. I did my jump. So fortunately for me, I met a, I got admission. I got admission um, October 2015. So I could not resume because my child is still young. So I have to resume January. I resume January 27. So when I want to drop the child, so his father advised me that I should not drop the child for his mother. So I was like, <laughs> so the mother came to meet me that I should please, that I should drop the child for her. That she's going to take care of the child. <laughs> Even if I'm not around school, something like that, she's going to take care of the child. There was a, 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 a day that the sister called me that she said, if me I come back to, if I come back to pick the child, they are going to arrest me. I was like, arrest how? 
Why will somebody call me? Me that I'm in school, that they're going to arrest me. So I now called my mom. I said, this, this, this is what happened. So my mom now went there. My mom now said, the boy, the baby has a boy, yeah, that is very big. Okay, okay. I used to call, I was a child, I was just, and when I'm going there, I'll buy something and I'll give the mother money. See, I was in school, I was managing. So anything I have, I give them when I go there. And I buy some things and give the child, give the mother. So 2017th, I was about to finish my ND, 2017th. So I went there, I want to take the child. So they said, I can't take the child. I didn't fight with them, I didn't do anything. So my uncle followed me down to his father's place that he should plead on my bed, that they should allow me to be taking the child, even if it's a week, and I will return the child back to them. They said there's nothing like that, that they can't allow me to take the child. So I accepted. I never drag, I never do anything with them because my uncle actually advised me that they are the owner of the child. That we are the owner of the child, but they are just, that's it, the owner of the child in one way or the other. That I should know, so I should just be going there and be checking the child. So anytime I have anything I want to give the child, when I was doing my IT, I used to send, there's one person in their house that the mother gave me the uh, account number that I used to send money to that account number. If I go there, I will buy something there and I will give the mother money when I was doing my high team. So when I put in for my HND, I'm not financially brilliant then. I, I can still do this that I can do. So this year, thank God, I secured a jo job, another job in January. So I went there. Yeah, uh, his birthday was on the 4th of February. So I went there. So I bought some things. I, I went there. I gave the mother to something. Me and him, we are not, in, we are, we are, we are not talking since all these years. We have not for once talked. I was the one that called him on, on my son's birthday. I was the one that called him that this boy is now eight years. Should we, can we, should we be continue fighting? We can't continue fighting. And I collected his number from his mother and I called him that day. So we used to talk. And we have been talking about his school that he's not doing very well in the school. So he now brought, so he's the one that brought up the suggestion that maybe the child should come, should come to my place. Maybe when I, I was able to handle him very well that. The mother cannot handle the child very well again. And I said, okay, that, that is even what I even want. So for coming out for me, it's even like making me even be happy that, okay, this child is coming to me. So I, make, I, came, to, I came back to Lagos. I make preparation. I, I buy this one. I buy this one. That my child is coming to resume with me first time. So when they uh, uh, vacate for third time, so I, called, I, I chatted him. I said, how far with what we discussed before? He said, ah, I don't think it's possible again. I said, why is it not possible? That we have already talked about this thing. And the mother, the day I went there, the mother made me sure that if I take the child out, they will not be able to see the child again. I said, me, I'm not an English. You that have been taking care of the child since one year, see, eight, eight years old. Why will I take the child? That, that would be very, very, very stupid of me doing that, taking the child out. You will not see the child out. So, and I asked him, can I take the child? He said, he's not in his power again. I said, he's not in your power. I don't understand. He said, hey, I cannot take the child again. So he did not say anything about it. We closed the chapter. So August, he now chatted me. He said, hey, the child's school fee is 156000 That he wants me to be part of it. I said, he wants me to be part of it. Where, ah, where is the child safe? He said, he's with his sister. I said, your sister, how? Did you even tell me anything before you even take the child to your sister? We did not say anything. Once we actually agreed on that, the child is coming to me. And you did not even tell me anything before taking the child to, the, to your sister, please. And you're not telling me that how much am I going to bring? Something that you would not involve me before. Maybe I will accept or not. At least it's your mother that I gave the child, not to your sister. Why are you transferring my child? When I said I want to be responsible for the child, you should give me, the, uh, give me access of the child to be taking care of the child. I even reason with that, okay, if you are not financially buoyant for, for now, let me just take care of the bills. If you are not financially, he said, hey, it's not his power, it's something like that, I should do this, okay. The second day, the mother called me. So she said, hey, the child is in a, a child place, so that's something. I said, is this our agreement before? And I told her, if I'm your, if I'm your child, will you do this to me? She now said, hey, she make a mistake by calling me, something like that. She said, says different things. So that weekend, I went to Ogun State Shagam. That where I even went there with people. Maybe should we change all the situation? Like ah, she now said, is 
everybody agreement. I say, who are the people agreement? You people did not inform me. At least I'm the mother of this child. If, if we want to take any step concerning this child, you people should involve me. I'm not dead. And I do not say I will not take care of my responsibility. I'm ready to take care of my responsibility. You people deny me access of every, everything. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I called, before I reported the case, so I called the father. So I don't want to take my action without calling the people that are supposed to call. So I called the father. I said, sir, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. He, see, he said, hey, when I was taking things there, the day I informed him, I was like, if I want to give my child something, did I need to tell the general public that I want to give them this thing, I want to give them this thing? It's not possible. At least this thing I'm doing, I don't even need to keep record of this thing. I'm doing it for my child. So I don't need to be saying, okay, this is 2 I sent transfer today, this is 5 I transfer today. It's, 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 it doesn't make any sense for me to be keeping that those like, and be involved in it, but I do this and I do that. He said, I, did, I tell, did I tell him that when I bring something, I did, she, she said many things. I was like, ah, why are these people treating me this way? That was when I reported the case, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to say to all this? Your Honor, ma. Um, well, first of all, I would like to say when you want to report about the pregnancy, it was not when she wants to inform us about the pregnancy, it was not five months. Try and remember. The pregnancy was almost seven months. And you did not go to my family first because you don't know my family. We broke up because of this kind of corny attitude, talking about my dad and my mom. You were the one that separated my dad and my mom. My dad and my mom not living together. It's, it was because of you. Now, when you called me that you were pregnant, We've separated. Most of the pregnancy of seven months. You just banged to me like, ah, I'm pregnant for you. Seven months. Where are you coming from? I could remember really, I, I told her to never call my number again. Then she went to my dad. My dad was like, my son did not tell me anything. Let my son tell me something. Then she, uh, I don't know whoever advised her to go and meet my sister. That it's only my sister that can talk to my dad. Though she went to meet my sister and they talked to my dad. My dad now called me that, like in Yoruba, I will not be, if I bring anybody, you will not accept it, blah, blah, blah. I told them that you don't know this girl. I'm the one that know this girl. I'm the one that, that I'm the one that know what prompts me to break up with that in the first place. And my daddy was just like, no. I said, okay, no problem. They brought her home. Then I was not staying in Shagam then. I was, I was working uh, around the um, north then. So, if I come home, if I came home then, we will face each other like this. You that they brought to my father's house as a responsibility. Come on, good morning. She will not say. We will face like this, about to swallow each other. She will not say, I. We will be on the same, in the same room. She will not say, hello. Two routes until she gave birth. Even me and my friend, they were like, they went to hospital that uh, she need to be having sex. Because of uh, uh, maybe something when she wants to give birth. I told them, no, not me. Even if it will become an uh, operation, I will sign it that I'm the father of the baby. But that we should have anything together, that will never happen. Someone that did not talk to me, did not do anything. She does not feel any remorse about what she has been doing. Okay, fine, she gave birth. I was not around when she gave birth. Even on the naming ceremony, I was not there. I came late. It was after the raising ceremony. My friends and my family were the ones that stood for me. So when I came back, after the naming ceremony, I told my family, let this girl go with this baby. When the baby is okay, I will be doing my, we will be doing the responsibilities. When the baby is come of age, then maybe if the baby will come back to us, fine. Then if it will stay with her, it's okay. My dad just went like, that I'm stupid. And it's because of the shit that I want to be doing around. I was not like, this is not about shit. Me, I know what I'm talking about, too. You don't know this girl. I kept repeating, repeating that. That you don't know this girl. Now, me know this girl. They were like, no, 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 no. I said, okay, fine. No problem. I was away. When, when my mom called me that, you're aware, your wife went to your dad and speak like some gibberish thing that my mom is maltreating her. Uh, all those kind of 
lies against my mom. I was not like, I could remember vividly that that day was in an, okay, no, it was when she left. That was, an, that was the election date. So when my mom called me, I was not like, I told you guys. This was what I was talking about. So my dad was like, it was because of what I uh, told my, uh, my mom and my sisters. That was why they are behaving to her like that. That there's nothing they can do that can send her away. That she's my wife and uh, that she's the one I will marry. Blah, 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 blah. My mom moved out of the house. That issue caused issues between my dad, my mom, and my sisters. These my sisters that you are calling bad people, they were the ones that sorted the issue that make my dad to accept you because my dad does not accept you in the first place. This my sister is the one that you started the fight with. And everybody gave up on you. It remains you and my dad. And that day, I remember I told my dad, don't worry, what she did to my mom, she will do it for you too. She'll be, my mom has left your place. No problem, she will do it. So, last, was it last year or this, early this year? She started like, she got my number, uh, we should stop, Kineko. Me, I don't get issue with you. Now you get issue with yourself. After all, since when you've been facing the baby, did I say you should not? You said no, blah, blah, blah. So she said, she complained about school, that the baby is not doing well in school or something. And I told her, you know I'm busy. I'm a tech, I'm a programmer. I'm a very busy type. Do you, should we change the school? Will you go to Shagam where the baby is? After all, thank God you know more about Shagam too. Let's look for another school. I enroll the baby to another school. You said, okay, when you have chance. When you have chance, you don't have chance, you do not go. I told my mom, okay, I discussed with my sister as to what can we do. My sister said that means we need to bring the baby to Lagos so that she can start uh, the school instead. That was when you brought up the father, okay. You said, she first of all started with, uh, the baby The baby will come and do all the day. I said, my hand no did here. I'm not the... I'm not, the, I'm not the father of the baby. My dad used to say he's the father of the baby. Right from the child, right from the she gave birth to the baby. My dad used to say, Omo yi wo kolo ni omo mini. So I, I, I told her, if you want to do anything, go and meet these people. I was young when you gave birth to this baby. The only thing I do then was to work hard and do or maybe financial support that I can do for them. It was my sisters, my mom, my dad that are doing all the necessary things that you were supposed to do then. So anything you want to do, talk to them. And okay, the next thing she brought her like, eh, she maybe she, she will bring the baby to her place. I said, firstly, if it's about you taking charge of the baby, you need to go through my sisters. Like, talk to them. These people will not kill you. You said, uh, blah, 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 I should talk to them myself. I said, okay, okay, I don't hear you, I will do that. When I talked to them, it was like Biafra war. The plaintiff, Ola Sombo Shoumi, claims that Daniel deflowered and impregnated her the very first time she would make love. She handed over the love child to her mother-in-law to return to school. Now that she has completed her education and wants to assume motherly responsibility over her son, she alleges that her baby daddy and his family are restricting her access to her son. The defendant, Oyesoya Daniel Damilola, alleges that Ola Sumbo abandoned their love child with his parents to raise. He claims that it will be challenging to withdraw the baby from those that have been looking after him for almost eight years and hand him over to the mother that deserted him. Judge Fumi waits into this matter. What now made you request for DNA? DNA. Yes. The reason what why I requested for DNA it. was like you said I yes. summarize it all. I've requested for DNA test. Yes. Because I need to be sure the baby is mine. Why will he come? Why will she come back after eight years that she wants to take charge of the baby? No, wait. Is that the reason? That was my reason. It was. It yes. was. It. Let, let me listen. 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 If she is the biological mother. Yes. She will always come back. If you are the biological father, no matter what, one day you look for your child. Your normal. Wait, I'm speaking. Now, if it's established that you are the biological father, 
There is no court in Nigeria that will deny her access to the children. No matter what. Go to anywhere. You will both have access to that children, to the child. When a party wants to deprive the other, it's just selfishness, your own ego. You are not thinking about the welfare of that child. The psychological balance. You think where she is, she don't, is he a boy? Yeah. You think the boy does not see others with their mom? You think anybody can fill that vacuum? The same way if it's the other way around. No matter what. So, if you're a biological father, you take care of the child, as you've always done. And you give her access to the child. I didn't deny her access in the first place. Okay. No, no, All right. No, no, no. What do you have to say? The first statement that you make that I separated his mother and his father. I don't want to go deep. Because this thing that we are doing here, the, the child will grow up and see all these things. Let it be. Right. Please, can I have the result of the DNA test? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The DNA test is prepared by Lee's DNA Laboratories. DNA Diagnostic Center, DDC, text results. Name, Edwin Victor Yesoya. Alleged father, Daniel Damilola Yesoya. Probability of paternity. 99.999998%. DNA analysis, positive. You are the father of Edwin Victor Oyesonya. You are the biological father. Now, the two of you, the first of all, you have to break it down to your son. Do you understand that he has a mother that will be part of his life henceforth? Holiday period. How old is your son now? Eight years, going Eight years old. Holiday period. You have to be shared with it equally. Where do you stay? The child is in Ikorodu. You are in Abekuta. Mm. I know you said this, the child, is, and you are were in Lagos yes, there. Yes, so the first half of both, anytime you want to check the child, you can go and have, do you understand, go to the school, check on the, on your son's welfare, okay, no. you know, but holiday period, you share it fully. So you have the first half of the holiday. Then after that, the child returns to him for the second half. And to resume school. You can't expect someone that took care of a baby when let me his tell biological you. mother you are not, him let me for tell eight you. years. Will you keep quiet? My child. The two of you, I, want I have to the, I have, I have the, your Wait, the body you see. Listen, to, what's, it, what's your name? Steve or what's Daniel. It? Daniel, let me tell you one thing. There is a law. Okay. Do you understand? And law is not based on sentiments. She's not mad. She's not crazy. There are a lot of mothers out there. There are a lot of fathers out there that have done a lot of unprintable things to their children while growing up. They still forgive them and still take care of them in the old age. There are some, they hold it to earth and they still hold it against, do you understand? That is left to the child. There is no law and no court that will deny either of you access to your child. I just didn't want to go deep because you are both comfortable with it. The two of you are the one that gave birth to that child. Any other person is interloper, medusome interloper. They have no business there. Family support, sure. But family will not deny one party, one of the biological people.
parents access to that child because family should be looking for peace. If the two of you are young and are not being too reasonable, based on your experience, age, they are supposed to guide you on the right path. Are they doing the best for that child by denying that child access to one of them? But you said you've never denied her access. That's what you said earlier on. So why is it difficult for you now to let her have, spend some time with her biological child, nine months delivery? Whoever the child is with, don't they have their children? If, they, if you turn the table, will they be acceptable to them? The custody is with you now. It's only a sex that she needs. There's nothing that says it can Ideally, go ask any lawyer, they'll tell you. When a child is under 18 years old, this is where the rightful play for custody right now is there. But she left him when it's... And then she comes back for a child. So, is she dead? Is it that easy? That's the way. That's what you don't know. My child. That's what you don't, don't know. Don't complicate things here. And That's what you keep quiet. Yes, you know. You do not know, and I'm telling you what the law is. Law does not work on sentiments. Look for any lawyer and ask them. They will tell you. They will guide you. So I tell people you take a child and deny the other party. I say you're wasting your time. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. You need to instruct the school to give her access to the child while in school during school days. Then during holiday, you have the child for the first half and you must return the child for the second half and the child will resume school. That's my preference. All right. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situation, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.